Hey hi, this is Kirtish from bloggingverse.com and in this video, I'm going to help you how you can set up a feature image for your WordPress blog post. I will take you through the steps one by one in a very easy and simple steps. So without wasting time, let's go to the screen and discuss everything step by step. Here we are on the screen. You can see this is my blog. On that blog, I have already published multiple blog posts. Each blog post is displayed here with a sort of an image, which we call featured image. It has two advantages. User can get a visual understanding what exactly this blog post is all about. And number two, if you go to the Google and simply search with a keyword and then go to the image search, all your images will also rank here. So it is going to get you two dual benefit. Number one, obviously visual, visual interaction by the user. And number two, you have chances to get traffic via image search as well. So now the question is how to set up a feature image if you are just publishing your first blog post. Let me take you through this step one by one. So this is the blog post which I'll be using. You can see it has only title, it has its excerpt and only read more icon. There is no such image. Now to set up a feature image, first of all, you just log into your WordPress admin dashboard. This is how it will be look like. The moment when your login will be successful, then come across and click to the post and then go to the all post. Then you will be on this page where all the posts, whatever you have published under your blog will display here like this. Then after you can see all the content for which you would like to set up a feature image. Let's say in our case, I'll be using this one. So first of all, you have to open that in an edit window. So I will click here and then it will be open in an edit window like this. So this is how your blog post is and we are going to set up a feature image for this. Now to set up a feature image, first you have to create an image that could be a custom image or you can download it from anywhere else. In our case, what I did is I've already created one image and I've already downloaded it, which I'm going to set up. So this is the image you can see on the screen, which we'll be using as a feature image for this blog post. So at the end, our blog post will be having this kind of feature image. So now what I will do is let's go back and then on the right hand side, you will see here an option called setting. First, you have to click to this setting icon, which is more of a uh, wheel icon. Then scroll down and there you will be having an option called feature image like this. Okay. So simply click to that icon and then there is an option for seat, uh, set feature image. Simply click to the set feature image and there will be an option from where you would like to import your image. In my case, I will go to the media library. This will show me all the images which are already uploaded before this session. I myself have already upload, uploaded this image. So this is visible here. I can simply select this. But in your case, if you would like to upload a new image, go to the upload files, click here to the select files, then go back and select the image which you would like to add as a feature image. Let's say if that is the one I'll be selecting it, then it will display here. Likewise, once the image will be there, you simply have to select that image the way I have done it. And then on the right hand side, you'll be having all these different, different options. So first of all, always give alt text for your image, because as I said, you have a chances to get ranking via Google image search as well. So Google will be only able to link your image with a specific keyword if you will be adding this alt text. So I just have provided my keyword, same thing you have to do and then provide a title. So in the future, if you would like to search any image, simply going to the search icon, it will be based on this title text. Okay. So any keyword you can search here and the related images will be displayed. So make sure you provide the title. This is going to be the URL of your image in case you only wanted to access this image somewhere in the future. Once you are done with that, simply come at the bottom and there will be a button called set featured image. I'll be clicking to that options and you will find here that the feature image will be added for this blog post, which will look like this. Once you are done with that, simply go and click to the update icon. It will take hardly 10 to 20 seconds and this will be added as a featured image. So now we will go back and see to our blog post whether this image is been added or not. So let's go back. I will go back to the home page. Let's say this is my blog. I said, this is my blog and I will simply refresh this page and we are expecting that feature image should display here. Well, whether the feature image will come to this position or not will depends on how you customize your theme. But ultimately the feature image, what the process we have already followed is now being added with the blog post. And you can see earlier there was no feature image. Now you can see the feature image has been added. And if anyone will click to the read more, 
they can log into your content as well. So this is how you can add a feature image with a simple and easy process. Hope you loved this video content. If you would like me to make more videos in the future related to the WordPress tech and tips as well as digital marketing tools, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment box what's the next video you want me to make on this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.